Hi, and welcome back to Crochet for Lefties. Now that I've taught you the basics, the single crochet, double crochet, half double crochet, and a triple, I'm now going to start off with something that I first learned, which is dishcloths. A lot of people start off with scarves and hats, but dishcloths are pretty basic, and these are some of the ones that I did over the Christmas holidays. Um, now you would use a nice cotton yarn, not acrylic, because you will definitely feel the difference. But um, anyway, I did a lot of these at Christmas time. Women love to get these for Christmas gifts. Um, I bought the, or I made them all for my uh, staff, and so I thought I would uh, teach a very simple um, pattern on here. So let's start with, um, it's just a beige cotton and I'm using again an H hook for this. And what you're going to do is you make your slip knot as usual. You pull there lightly and we're going to chain 27. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fourteen, 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 sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, Twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, and twenty-seven. Now you can make it however long you want, but that's this is just the size that I like. And as you can see, I'm not making it very tight at all. Now for this pattern, we're going to use a half double crochet stitch. So now that I've chained the twenty-seven, I'm going to wrap my yarn around the hook. And I'm going to the third chain from the hook. So one, two, and three. I'm going to insert in and pull through so I have three loops on my hook. Then I'm going to wrap around again and pull through all three. Again, wrap around, go through the next hole, pull through till I have three, wrap around, and pull through. Wrap around, in this hole, pull through, so I have three, wrap around, pull through. One more time, wrap around, just insert here till you have three, wrap around, and pull through. So I'll be back in a second once I get to the end of the chain and we'll work on the second row. Okay, so I'm nearing the end. So again, just wrap around, insert into the hole, pull through till you have three, wrap around and pull through all three. Okay, so now to get to the next row, we're going to chain two. So one, two, turn your work around, and now wrap around and go into this very first one right here. There'll be two loops at the top. So just go through, pull your yarn through to have your three, wrap around and pull through all three. Again, wrap around, going into the next chain, pull through, you have three, pull through all three. Wrap around, go into the chain, all three. Wrap around, go into this chain, see the two loops at the top, pull through, and one more time, wrap around, in here, pull through, Wrap around and pull through. So again, work your way all the way to the end, chain two, turn your work, 
and start over. And you're going to do this for 16 rows. Now you could go more if you want the um, if you want them to be wider, but I like 16 rows. So I'll see you at the 16th row. So I'm now at the 16th row, and at the end I'm just going to pull this through the loop like that. And then what I like to do is I like to weave it into my work. So I'll just grab the tail and pull it through just a couple of stitches. Just to just like that. And I'll give it a little clip. And there you go. There's another easy, easy dishcloth to make, and they make great gifts. So I hope that you enjoyed my tutorial, and please like.